I am originally from Romania. Romania, the Mexico of Europe. They try to build a wall, we stole the bricks. A little bit about the Romanian people. We are Christian Orthodox. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but I can explain it to you. You see, you are Christian Orthodox when you believe in Jesus, but then Jesus doesn't believe in you. <laughs> the Russian people are Christian Orthodox. And the first time I did that joke on stage, this Russian gentleman came up to me and said, hey, you know, that joke made me laugh here. <laughs> but made me cry here. <laughs> You know why? You know why? You know why? Because in Russia, not only does Jesus not believe in me, but even Jesus believes in Putin. <laughs> so, I've been traveling recently. I've been traveling. I went to Vienna, a very interesting place, Vienna. You know, the, the Austrian people, they also speak German. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between Germans and Austrians? And I always tell them, look, Germans are very good at engineering, and Austrians are capable of love. <laughs> Small little difference, right? When, when I was traveling there, uh, I was going for a couple of meetups and I met this Polish couple and I asked them, guys, do you have any suggestions what I should visit while I'm here in Vienna? And the guy told me, you should go to the cemetery. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, why? Free entry. <laughs> a little Polish travel hack there for you. <laughs> Free entry, and if you try really hard, free jewelry. <laughs> so, man, I've gone to a lot of places, man. I went to Helsinki. Anybody here from Finland? Yeah. Oh, okay, wonderful. So, you'll be, you'll be part of your Swiss, right? Yeah. Oh, so you're Swiss and Finnish. Very rich, okay. <laughs> Good job, bro. Lock that down. <laughs> Very expensive place, Helsinki. I was, I was, let me tell you how expensive it was. I was walking around, this homeless person comes up to me, he says, please sir, can I have eight euros? <laughs> eight euros? <laughs> I don't send my family eight euros. <laughs> It was interesting, something funny happened when I was in Helsinki, I was on the tram going to the city center. On the tram there was this older gentleman, white hair, white beard, looked a bit like Santa. He approaches me, he says, hey man, come over here, I want to show you something. So I automatically think to myself, he's probably going to show me his penis. <laughs> but this is Helsinki and there's nothing to do. So I thought, alright, let's see Santa's penis. <laughs> so I go over here in the corner and the guy puts his hand in his pocket and he takes out his phone. And on his phone, he shows me a picture of him dressed up as Santa next to Xi Jinping, the president of China. And he points at Xi Jinping and he says, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's not you, that's a Chinese man. No, 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 the guy next to him. Ah, oh, okay, sorry. I was like, why are you telling me this? And then he points at me and he says, I'm telling you this because you are Chinese. I was like, I'm not Chinese. I'm from Romania, but I live in Berlin. I said, oh, you live in Berlin? And then he puts his hand in his pocket and then he shows me his penis. <laughs> Crazy place, man. That's insane. That's insane. But, uh, no. but I found out there's a hierarchy in the Nordics as well. For example, the Finnish people, even though they live good lives, they move to Sweden for better, better jobs and more money, right? And then the Swedish people, they move to Norway for better jobs and more money. And then the Norwegian people, they kill themselves. <laughs> The only uh, better place than uh, Norway is, uh, you know, heaven. <laughs> but it's good to be here in Germany. I'm trying to integrate. I'm one of the immigrants that is trying to actively integrate. And I'm currently learning the German language. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Level 6 on Duolingo. <laughs> I already have my favorite German words. My favorite German words are Schmeckt <laughs> and Frühstück. <laughs> Schmeckt. 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 The you know, first time I heard the word schmeckt, it sounded to me like the sound bubble in a Japanese comic when somebody's masturbating. Schmeckt, 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 schmeckt. 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 How was your Friday evening, Hans? Well, uh, I uh, schmeckt gut. <laughs> oh, really? And then what? And then there was Frühstück everywhere. <laughs> 
Schmeckt dein Frühstück? Also, the wonders of the German language, right? What's gonna happen next on Duolingo? We don't know. <laughs> But you know, coming, uh, coming from Romania, it is very interesting. Actually, my, my, I grew up on a farm in Romania. My grandpa, we used to live on this farm in Romania, right? And on this farm in Romania, she used to have a bit of a problem, right? My grandma used to have an infinite amount of cats in her attic. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the gestation period for a cat is about three months. Which means that every three months, a cat can have up to eight kittens. Now, I don't know if you're good at math, but that is one cat, eight cats, eight cats, quickly becomes cats to the power of eight. And that's not sustainable. But that's okay, because my grandma had a solution to this problem. What my grandma used to do is she would take the baby kittens, she would put them in a bag, and then she would throw them in the river. Fucked up, right? Now, I moved here to Berlin, and I was telling this story to a German girl one night in an act of flirting. <laughs> That is how I flirt. And this German girl looks at me, doesn't even, doesn't even blink, and she says, Oh, Dragos, I think your grandma was very inefficient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my god, how so? But see, Dragos, if I was your grandma, what I would do, what I would do, is I would take the pregnant cat, <laughs> put it in a bag, and then throw it in the river. You see, Dragos, you have to solve the problem at its core. <laughs> It's a lot more efficient. I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense, man. You gotta hand it to the German people. They really know how to exterminate. <laughs> Guys, I did that joke all over Germany. It doesn't work. <laughs> but, uh, but it kills in Poland. <laughs> Alright guys, that's my time. Thanks a lot for having me.